They say to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. Lord, make me hungry for you. Amen. Oh my God. I still want to remind you, my children, Colossians 2.10, that everything is made perfect in Christ. According to Alfonso Siligori, there is a vacuum in the hands of every human person which only Christ can fill. Lord, make me hungry for you. Oh, just like our brother David, because of his passion for God, David was elevated. Those who enjoy position in the Lord are those who are thirsty, those who are hungry for Jesus. If you see those who are, who are addicted to drinking, smoking, ganja, drugs, you will understand this message very well. Those who are committed to God, watch their children. I continue to tell the parents here, be very, very prayerful. Be very, very prayerful. Oh my God. Because of what? Generation is rooted to you. Generation is rooted to you. Be very, very prayerful. Live a good life, if not for anything, for the sake of your children. Because you have a generation tied to you. That's why you have to be very, very serious with your God. Someone shall, Lord, make me hungry for you. Lord, make me hungry. Lord, make me hungry for you. Lord, make me hungry for you. Our brother David said in Psalm 69, verse 9, Oh Lord, the love I have for your house has eaten me up. Now, I was saying something about, 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 about passion for God. Your passion for God, my children, determines your height in life. Let nobody confuse you that Christianity is a scam. They are already, they are defeated people with a destructive and defeated mindset. Anybody telling you not to pray or not to give God a quality time, that person is not telling you the truth. Even if that person is a pastor. You see, there is a way of life. Traffic way of life. It's a two way of life. For instance, if you are relevant and now if a sudden you stop being relevant, you will devise a means to be relevant. Am I communicating here? I hear you. That thing is a strategy. For instance, if you are at the forefront, maybe you are moving crowd and all of a sudden you discover that you are no longer relevant. Do you know what will make you relevant? When you start delving into controversial issue, when you start telling people that Jesus Christ has a wife, they will be very, very happy. Tomorrow they will come and hear you more. And you will give them the name of the first son of Jesus Christ. And the people will be what? Enthusiastic to listen to you all the more. It is a strategy of relevance. But I am telling you, condemnation awaits you. Condemnation awaits you. Most often they tell people what they will suit them in their comfort zone for them to make effort. Let me tell you, whoever that is telling you not to pray, that person is an atheist. Whoever that is telling you not to keep vigil, that person is an atheist. He's not a preacher. He's not a man of God. You know their names. Something that is trended in the internet. That thing is what the dominion of Satan trying to swallow the dominion of God. Look at what happened in the concluded Olympics. Paganism is trying to take the, over the world. We are the end time soldiers. We are the prayer warriors who will make God happy. God is yearning for people who will stand on the gap. Jesus is crying. May God open your eyes. Looking for those who will defend the tradition of the church. The tradition he, 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 he handed over to the apostles. I love the apostles so much. Christ told them, I am with you till the end of time. Because when he saw their effort, their determination and their zeal, he gave them more grace to defend the tradition, to defend the church of Christ. Jesus is crying for ministers. Jesus is crying for evangelizers. Those who will live in, you know, uh, uh, begin with your life, evangelizing with your life, telling people the truth. It means that people want to know, they yearn and desire the truth, but the problem is what? They have not seen someone standing on the gap that will tell them the truth, the raw doctrine of the church. I pray that God will raise soldiers, ministers, who will destroy the occultic messages hovering around, trying to confuse our children. Try to destroy the future and the destiny of our children. Remember, the word of God said, cut off from me, you can do nothing. Gospel of John chapter 15, by 5 to 7. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. Without Jesus, we are nothing. I am telling everybody here. 
without Jesus. Colossians 2 10. Everything is perfect in Christ. One the no be chuku. I can't the no be chuku. I can't the no be chuku. Tell the God, let us go back to the time of the apostle, apostolic time. The time that the people of God we are determined to go extra mile for the sake of Christ. They went extra mile, the apostles. Have you ever asked yourself why is it that nowadays there are no more, no, not too much sense, unlike the days of the old? Have you ever asked yourself? Because of what? So many people are being, so many things are being downplayed. Faith cometh by hearing. Tell the God, you better cut off to any message that will not add value to your life. Any message that will not make you a firebrand Christian, do what? Shut that message off. That message is not needed. Those messages are not needed in your life. Switch on to messages that will make you a firebrand Christian, a firebrand child of God. Messages that will attract the glory of God in your life. Messages that will activate your spiritual life because the spiritual controls the physical. Let me tell you, switch off to any information that will puncture your spirit. Any negative information or messages that will make you ordinary. Because you are not ordinary. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood. People set apart. There are messages you will never listen to. Once you hear the content, you do what? You switch off. There are informations you don't need. Once they are coming, you do what? You shut them off. Because of what? God has given you a mandate. To announce him and be celebrated. Look for the things that will add value to yourself. That's why I continue to say, love everybody, but don't accept everybody. Amen and amen. 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 One of the things you have to fight before you will go far in life is what? Demon of distractions. Who is distracting you? My children, connect to the right circle. Holy Ghost, make me hungry for you. Holy Ghost, make me hungry for you. What has happened to our prayer life, my children? We must refire. We must re-engineer ourselves. You used to fast before every Friday, every Tuesday, twice a week. What has happened to that fasting? What has happened to the fire of prayer in you? You used to keep vigil. You used to go to desert. What really happened? What has gone wrong? What really changed my children? Foundation once destroyed. What can they just do? I still want to remind every one of us here that the spiritual controls the physical. Do you want to go far in life? Be a firebrand child of God. My children. Those who we are hungry for God, their generation, they will announce even their generation. Child of God, you need to be hungry for God because generation is rooted to you. I want your children to be celebrated. I want you to be celebrated. Amen. The secret is what? Hungry for God. Be passionate. Be passionate, child of God. Never allow anything to puncture your face. Children. Be passionate. I am telling you, your heart for God determines your height in life. My children, let us embrace the Master Jesus. Colossians 2:10. Everything is made perfect in Him. 